Hey there, it's Justin, uh, answering your questions from joincfe.com slash knock. Today's question is about celery and redis. Do you need them together or can you have them separate? And kind of what are they really? So celery is an asynchronous task queue manager. So what it allows you to do is run asynchronous code by building up these task queues that execute pretty much in order, just as you might expect, or based off some sort of schedule. And then they use Redis to handle how that schedule works. So Redis itself is a distributed messaging um, platform that essentially handles how all of these tasks may come in. Um, and they're not reliant just on Celery. Redis can use other things in different ways and it's also a backend cache system. So they don't rely on each other. Um, Celery was built on top of Redis, not the other way around. Um, Redis itself is used for all other sorts of things, like I said, a backend um, cache, so it actually speeds up your backend, um, which is also very nice, or at least speeds up the queries for them if they're regular queries. Um, as far as Celery is concerned, it's really good for asynchronous programs. It's not required, but it is very good. So say, for instance, you have a user on your site that wants a big chunk of data. You can use Celery to actually go into the background and run this chunk of data down the line and then it finishes it and sends it off. And if you did this with a hundred different customers, Celery would be the thing that you would do it because it would take away from your main process that's running your application, um, which is really nice uh, when it comes to asynchronous applications in general. So then you, you've probably seen this quite a bit when, when they use some sort of task queue or a messaging system. When I have to refer to messaging system, it's, it's more of like how the, the database is, is doing messages between you know, different tasks, essentially. And Celery and Redis work together to make those things happen. If it sounds confusing, it kind of is because there's a lot of things going on. But just know this, Celery helps the task management in Django. Redis helps um, your database and all other sorts of services execute management caching as well as the messaging that is required from Celery to actually work. Hopefully that makes sense. If you have more questions, check out joincfe.com slash knock. Thanks a lot.